The Indian Army has issued a request for information for 50,000 bulletproof jackets, and the procurement will be done under Buy Indian category, and Buy and Make in India category, and the delivery must be completed within 12 to 24 months of signing the contract. Two different types of jackets will be procured, the first being a 10 kg jacket to provide protection against 7.62 by 54 mm armor-piercing bullets and a second 8 kg jacket to provide protection against 7.62 by 39 mm hard steel cord bullets. The fabric should be water and fire resistant, and the surface should be non-reflective. According to latest media reports, the Indian Army is now finalizing the lease of four advanced Heron Mark II medium-altitude long-endurance UAVs from Israel. The Navy is looking to lease minesweepers and 24 twin-engine armed light utility helicopters with blade folding capability for a period of five years from foreign companies. The offered helicopters should have a residual life of 15 years at commencement of the lease period. The company will also have to ensure 75% serviceability at two bases at the western and eastern seaboard. The Indian Air Force is finalizing the wet lease of one Airbus A330 refueler from France for training purposes, as well as 20 basic trainer aircraft, as the indigenous HTT-40 aircraft is yet to enter full-scale production. An official have said that leasing of combat platforms like fighter jets or missile systems is not considered to be feasible at present moment, as the country that leases such platforms is part of a military alliance like NATO. Apart from the 105mm Korean K-21 light tank, the Indian Army's 350 light tanks procurement might see the entry of Israel's latest generation Sabra light tank. It features an auto-loader that carries 12 ready rounds, and 24 rounds are stored in the hull. It is equipped with a 7.62mm machine gun, two units of anti-tank guided missiles and eight smoke grenade launchers. The Sabra light tank has level 4 ballistic protection, and features a radar warning receiver, 360-degree panoramic sight with advanced electro-optic sensors and laser range finder for day and night fighting, and can detect enemy targets at 12 kilometers. It has a sophisticated fire control system, TorchX battle management system and E-Link software defined radio system, and features dual-axis high-performance stabilized turret with auto-tracking to engage both stationary and moving targets while on the move. The best advantage is that the modular design enables integration of the same 105mm turret for both tracked and 8x8 wheeled platforms, which will also help India to develop different variants like light tank infantry combat vehicle and armoured personnel carrier, and additional configurations can be developed for multiple combat and support operations. With Boeing's C-17 production line been closed down, the Indian Air Force has been looking to procure more tactical airlifter with strategic capabilities. Airbus had already offered its A-400 military transport aircraft in 2019. With a payload of 30 tons, the A-400M has an operating range of 4,535 kilometers. It can operate from short runways, and is also equipped with directional infrared countermeasures. It can be rapidly reconfigured to become an air-to-air -air refueler, and the A400M has recently completed a major helicopter air-to-air -air refueling certification campaign at different flight speeds and day and night conditions at altitudes between 1,000 feet and 10,000 feet. The RDO's Aerial Delivery Research and Development Establishment has demonstrated a scaled-down flying autonomous airship, and now the realization of unmanned small airship system of required capability is under process. The unmanned small airship system is made up of advanced coated fabric with a very high helium retention capability, that makes it suitable for longer operational profile. It can be equipped with various types of sensors that could be used for various applications such as surveillance and monitoring of coastal and border regions, relay of communication signals and high-resolution photography.
Oh, Mark, dropped it.